Now the topic is growth center model in India. The concept of growth center is not the new one. It's borrowed from the concept of growth pool. This growth pool concept proposed by the French school of thought rather proposed by the Francis Perrox in 1955. He gave the theory of growth pool and later the USA geographer Ward Duville, he was a geographer, takes this concept and explain all these things in the light of geographical space. The growth pool theory, which was proposed by the Francis Perrox, received a specific geographical and regional importance by the USA geographer Bord Dufil. Bord Dufil defined the regional growth rather economic growth pool rather growth pool as a set of expanding industrial location in an urban areas and it includes the further development future development of economic activity throughout the whole areas or the whole zone of the influence. Rather, uh, he explained the growth pool in perspective of geographical space. Next come to an uh, next come to the Swedish economist. He got Nobel Prize in 1974, uh, Midrell. He also explained the concept of regional development and regional growth. And last one is the R.P. Mistro, Indian geographer, Indian, he contributed a lot of things in Indian regional planning and very proposed and formulated various concept of regional planning. He proposed a concept, that concept known as growth foci theory. What is growth foci theory? The basic theme derived from the growth pool theory of Francis Perox and second stage, it's derived from the uh, um, RP Mister uh, influenced by the geographical outlook of Vorduville of uh, of growth center model, and he also um, also experienced by the concept of Midral, and ultimately he proposed a new theory that is the growth foci theory. All these things are related to the growth center model in India. Okay, come to that point. What is the growth center? Always the center is related to the geographical space with the geographical location. And second word is the growth. Growth always explained in the terms of economic activity. But in growth center model, here, the growth not only defined in the terms of economic indicator, rather it includes social infrastructure and the health, sanitation, other social and infrastructural facilities. Uh, very simply and straightforward to say that growth center concept is related to the economic space and it includes the concept of leading industry because industrialization and economic development both are uh, both are going hand in hand okay and propulsive form pro propulsive mean expanding economy activities industrial facilities both are in expanding mode okay third is polarization polarization means if the uh, if the benefit of economic activities or the infrastructural facilities concentrated in a particular place concentrated or confined within the limited area that is the concept of polarization then linkage and the agglomeration if these six indicators are very important in the growth center model okay so growth center and growth pole what is the basic differences between the growth center and the growth pole basically growth pole and growth center the basic variation, basic differences between the two concepts on the basis of the scale. The growth pole is larger geographical space, it covers more area, and growth center is 
is a smaller unit okay basically the differences between the growth pole and growth center growth center is a small unit of economic activities okay and growth center always accompanied by the economic concept geographical space economic activities social infrastructure and overall development concept okay now come to the concept of medial this concept is very uh, relevant to explain the growth center model okay uh, here the growth center or growth pole model leads to different type of process or process acting in the opposite direction what are the two process basically uh, if the economic development concentrated in a particular zone then then what will be the result the two two things two different types of process will operate there first one is the black wash or the polarization or it's a result of negative impact and second one is the uh, second one is the spread effect or the positive impact what is the backwards impact and what is the spread effect okay basically uh, mitral explain all these things backwards effect and the spread effect basically balanced regional development is the objective of our growth center model so balanced regional development depends on balance in the backwards effect and the spread effect rather positive impact of growth center and negative impact of the growth center now question is what is backwards because what is backwards impact or the polarization impact okay it backwards impact or polarization impact encourages the growth pole at the expense of other surrounding areas uh try to understand the phenomena very easily i will explain it with an example suppose this is an industrial unit or economic unit rest of the areas is agricultural area after industrialization all the benefit concentrated in that area and the rest of the areas remain as it is and after a, after a long interval more infra infrastructure more investment concentrated in that area so that center but that nuclear area flourished is flourishing but at the cost of at the cost of the backwardness of the surrounding areas this is the negative impact of growth pole that is called as a back worse so what is the worse the economic benefit the opportunities of this areas economic and social opportunities of the areas of hinterland of the surrounding areas was out by the gravity by the attraction of the pole zone that's why it's a negative impact on the surrounding areas of the industrial a center of the industries remain as a backward that's why it's called the backwards region so economic benefit or the social infrastructural facilities are which was the very obvious fact to develop all this region but somehow those opportunities was out from these areas and opportunities only concentrated in the central zone that is known as a backwards backwards effect or the polarization what is the spread effect spread of it obviously a positive effect a positive effect of industrialization it is the dispersal or the growth growth of the economic facilities infrastructural facilities away from the pole region it's is provide infrastructure and economic facilities to its hinterland it's 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 provides more balanced regional development Uh, because uh, regional development depends upon the two forces of growth center model one is backward that is the negative impact and other was the uh, other is the a positive impact that is the spread effect 
okay growth center model always based on the concept of utilize the local resource to develop the regional economy here i would like to mention the gandhian concept of swaraj and swadeshi this concept is very similar to the concept of the growth center model and it's also the small scale model here uh, here the basic concept based on the local development local resource formation local regional growth local economic development basically it's if you explain with the concept of force it is basically based on the centrifugal force you man you know this is the small unit centrifugal force means the benefit spread outward benefit spread outward through the hinterland and gradually whole area come under the effect of positive effect of industrialization okay so take few example of indian growth center uh, after independent 1951 tisco that is the tata uh, tata iron and steel company in jamshedpur and chorunangpur industrial complex starts journey with the establishment of tisco then chorunangpur plateau and few pockets of chorunangpur plateau uh ghetto plateau um, uh, enlightened by the economic development to the development of tisco now take an example of cell cell established in 1973 bilai durgapur raulkolla bokaro and burnpur there are four and five iron and steel industry but bilai in chatrisgarh durgapur in west bengal burnpur in west bengal bokaro in jharkhand and uh, raulkolla in odisha those are in four different state in spite of that those pockets becomes and uh, 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 economically advanced zones and infrastructural facilities transport facilities socio economic facilities health and sanitation facilities developed throughout the area and small urban unit developed at bokaro bokaro steel city Durgapur, that is Bihar, Nangor, Raurkela, Bilai, and Bhopur. Small urban units developed after that. Those are the result of growth center model implementation of growth center model in India. Okay, uh, there are various stages of growth center model to achieve development. That is the stationary growth. First initial stage. the development was not very first that is the stationary growth then centralized then second phase is the centralization growth concentrated in a uh, in a gravity center in a core area in a nucleus area then it's come to more polarization then agglomerate then and last one is the spread of trickle down all the facilities then this is an suppose this is burnpur this is durgapur and this is vilai and all are spreading in that way and after 30 or 40 years throughout the whole region the whole region become an industrial region and whole area whole area whole geographical area will be benefited by the economic benefit socio infrastructural benefit of the area concerned suppose this whole area come to an effect of trickle down effect or spread effect and whole area will be will be slowly merged to the agriculture to the industrial society with various sorts of development with the various infrastructural facilities R P Mishra, Indian geographer and planner, a uh, first time proposed a concept of well, the name of the concept is growth foci model. The growth foci model is not the new concept; it is an Indianized version of growth center model. In growth center model and the growth pole theory, Francis Perrox and Bordeaux never ever include the population as an indicator. to explain the growth in the case of third world countries rather developing countries like india population plays a vital role 
in economic development as well as the infrastructural and industrial development. So he included the concept of population and the number of population as indicator to explain the growth. According to R.P. Mister, if a city contain a population of uh, 25 lakhs above 25 lakhs, that is growthful. And if the city contain a population above uh, within the 5 lakhs, that is growth center. That way, growth town, growth uh, service center, village, market village. And he, he divided the growth center or the growth foci as an as in five uh, in, in a five step that is village market that is village level service center it's block level growth town is a district center then growth center the population within five lakhs Lucknow, Patna, Bhopal, Dhanbad, uh, Bokaro are the example of that he cited all those example and growth pole is the to above the population 25 lakhs Bombay, Delhi, Bangalore. Now he explained the economic development, urbanization, spread of infrastructural facilities, including all these things in the terms of in, in the terms of population concentration. This is the new explanation of growth center model in Indian's perspective and that this famous work done by the RP Mistro in the theory of growth foci. India proposed a lot of plan. India, India created uh, planning commission created planning region and that was also the successful effort dvc was very successful effort of planning commission i'm sorry planning region and commission and after 1995 four four important uh, indicator that is the globalization open market policy and formation of world trade organization and FD, fdi in world economy plays a very vital role and in such circumstances seas come to a reality india government enforced a law and passed a law in in indian parliament in 2005 and it's become an act in 2006 and says is implemented in the various pockets of india to the objective the basic objective of the seas was the seed as and the objective is fully merged with the concept of a uh, growth center model the objective of the growth center model is was the overall growth and long-term growth and through the concept of through the implementation of sales concept through the through the identification and through the establishment of various sites for the sales government is trying to fulfill the objective of growth center model that is overall growth and long-term economic development and uh, through the planning commission uh, there was an amendment in 1992 and always try to implement the concept of growth growth center model through the multi-level planning uh, just like the concept or just like the concept of RP Mr. Growth Fukai model that was also segmented into the five parts and multi-level planning is also segmented into the five halves center, state, district, block and village. Through this process, the, the expansion, expansion and the spreading of positive effect of industrialization and infrastructural facilities will spread throughout the India and the and the and the uh, positive impact of positive impact of spreading of industrialization which will reach in the grassroots level of the Indian household. In spite of all effort in India People of all status and all areas are not equally benefited by the special opportunities or the economic opportunities or the infrastructural facilities. This is because of the fact that economic opportunities along with the distribution of resource are generally restricted to the large cities and the towns. 
basically economic development is always an uneven spatial process 